Okay, welcome to a new episode of Nate's MMA Corner. I'm Nate, and if you watch my show, you're in my corner. Today's episode is a post-fight show for UFC 202, one of the greatest pay-per-views of the year thus far. Uh, yeah, this probably broke a bunch of records. And, uh, well, Conor McGregor uh, broke the record for highest for the time being um, purse at $3 million, and Nate Diaz got $2 million, so... Yeah, some uh, pretty big numbers there. And uh, yeah, it's a post-fight show, the main card, so let's get started. So we had a welterweight clash, a rematch with Conor McGregor, featherweight champ, moving up two weight classes to fight Nate Diaz, Ultimate Fighter Season 5 winner and future Hall of Famer. Yeah, this was um, decision majority, where one judge had it a draw and then two had it... Uh, 48-47 for Connor, and I think that the two judges that scored it for Connor, 48-47 got it right. I think that Connor won round one, two, and four. Round three and five were Nate Diaz. I think the knockdowns that Connor landed in the first couple of rounds uh, won him those rounds, and then round four, I believe he outstruck Nate Diaz, and round three and five. Uh, it was clear, especially round three, Nate Diaz outstruck Connor. And then round five, uh, Nate Diaz got the takedown at the tail end of the fifth round, but still that counts for something. And he was able to do a little bit with it, not a lot, but whatever time he had left. So thus, Connor McGregor wins majority decision, 48-47 on two of the judges, and then third judge had to draw 47-47. Uh, as that judge had, uh, I believe, round three as a 10-8 round for Nate Diaz. Okay, so, yeah. It was an amazing fight. It was pretty much a stand-up war. Uh, very little ground game, except for that fifth round, really. And then, even then, there wasn't much, but it was pretty much all stand-up war, good technical striking from Conor McGregor. Wow. Uh, what more can I say? Uh, if you haven't seen it, go watch the replay on pay-per-view. Wow, amazing. Okay, then we move on to the co-main event in the light heavyweight division. Anthony Rumble Johnson versus Glover Teixeira. Wow, this one, you know, I thought Glover was going to use boxing defense and his takedown defense and land uh, a knockout on Anthony Johnson in that first round, and boy, was it the opposite. I mean, I knew that who, whoever won this fight would win in the first round, and I had only Glover by a 51% chance of winning. So, not too far off the mark, I guess. And yeah, Anthony Johnson KO punch round one, 13 seconds into the first round. Yeah, Anthony Johnson landed the uppercut that uh, was timed perfectly on Glover. And Glover, yeah, wow. He just wasn't ready for it. Um. Yeah, 13 seconds. I Yeah, you got to give Anthony Johnson a title shot now at this point against uh, Daniel Cormier. Then, in the welterweight division, we had Donald Cowboy Cerrone versus Rick Story. Wow, this was uh, TKO head kick and punches. Round two, victory, two minutes and two seconds for Donald Cerrone. It looked like, towards the tail end of the first round, that you just knew that Cowboy was going to win this fight, but you didn't know uh, how much longer the fight would go on. So I think uh, Rick Story really uh, showed a lot of heart in this fight, despite the loss. Uh, Donald Cerrone, yeah, you you gotta you gotta give him some big matches after a performance like this. I mean, he really put on a, a clinic, a striking clinic, and really did a great job, uh, just all around. And yeah, I believe, I think his wrestling's gotten better, uh, as mentioned in the post-fight press conference. Then, also in the welterweight division, we had Mike Perry versus Hung Gu Lim. Hung Gu Lim, uh, for those of you that didn't see the fight, he fought um, Tarek Safadin on the very first UFC Fight Pass uh, main event. And um, he showed a lot of heart in that fight. His legs were beaten and bruised bad by Tarek Safadin, and he hung in there for all five rounds. And I thought, um, well, you know, this guy would find a way to win against Mike Perry, 
but boy was I wrong on this one. Mike Perry, he's a newbie of the UFC. Welcome to the UFC, Mike Perry. TKO punches, round one, three minutes, 38 seconds into it. And, yeah, Mike Perry, I mean, he had a little bit of hype coming into this fight, but I thought, oh, you know what, I mean, we see this all the time. He comes in and then he loses his first fight in the UFC, then he bounced back with the second or third fight in the UFC, and then goes on to have, you know, a big career or not a big career, whatever, but I thought, you know what, Hung Gu Lim, this would be his night, but boy, was I wrong. Yeah, Hung Gu Lim just uh, didn't have an answer for the strikes uh, once he got uh, rocked, you know. You knew uh, before a minute before the finish that it was going to be over um, any second, and Mike Perry was able to capitalize and uh, storm in and get the finish. So, welcome to the UFC, Mike Perry, and good job. Uh, then, in the, also in the welterweight division, we had Tim Means versus Saba uh, Homasi. And yeah, this one I called pretty much on point. Tim Means won second round. TKO punches, uh, 2 minutes 56 seconds into the second round. Uh, he pretty much dominated the first round, and then he finished him off in the second round. On my fantasy, I had him winning in the first round, but... Um, yeah, Saba uh, Homasi, he's, um, he was a warrior in this fight. He hung in there as long as he could. But Tim Means, his technical striking, uh, great coaching, uh, he's getting better. And Tim Means, he knows how to work that jab. That, that jab really does a lot for uh, Tim Means. So, uh, wow, yeah. TKO punches, uh, victory for Tim uh, Means. And, uh, yeah, honorable mention on the prelims, uh, Lorenz Larkin, Neil Magny, that was a great fight. Uh, Neil Magny, if you're watching this, hang in there, bro. You'll come back. You always bounce back from these losses, and uh, I think uh, you'll learn from this loss. Uh, and Lorenz Larkin, um, happy for you, bro. Uh, TKO punches, uh, TKO elbows, four minutes, eight seconds in round one. Um, yeah, it was those leg kicks, though. Uh, Lorenz Larkin landed some killer leg kicks on Neil Magny and got the finish uh, eventually, um, getting Neil Magny up against the cage. So that was a great fight pass prelim. And uh, for those who don't have a fight pass, get it and watch that fight. It was a great fight. So that wraps up the post-fight show for UFC 202. Stay tuned for my next episode, which will be um, Damian Maia versus Carlos Condit, UFC on Fox. And until then, see ya.